we are seeking uh, to establish uh, effectively an independent transmission system operator uh, to set ourselves up in a manner that uh, we can be more neutral and be seen to be more neutral and independent of the rest of the ESCOM uh, portfolio. Um, there are essentially four functions that we envisage uh, will be required. Uh, we have used a phrase here called Central Purchasing Agency. I think members on the call will be aware of the single buyer office. Uh, however, our view is that a uh, single buyer is not quite appropriate uh, because there are already different buyers uh, in the country. Uh, but from a central point of view where the need is uh, for uh, uh, power procurement to take place, we believe uh, we will require an agency such as this. Um, to ensure that we have both long-term and short-term reliability um, uh, and ensuring that we can uh, purchase capacity uh, and also um, assist with handling some of the legacy uh, commitments that we have uh, in terms of uh, uh, the large fleet that exists as well as the historical uh, ITP contracts that are all already in place. Uh, this we see as something that one could uh, call as a transitional uh, phase, but it could be not so quick uh, to move from this mode where we have this long-term commitment uh, to a future where we may have uh, markets uh, that uh, uh, customers can buy from, uh, and that would also provide uh, relief in terms of uh, 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 not being too much of a burden uh, on the fiscal. Um, so the market operator is uh, one of those activities that we are piloting internally um, and to look at how we can uh, support and encourage competition uh, between uh, the power stations uh, as they are dispatchable uh, currently inside ESCOM. Uh, and we would look to see whether that is a mechanism uh, that at some stage uh, we could allow external parties to also participate on, uh, which would be the ideal. Uh, the role of the system operator, I think, does not need to be uh, discussed in much depth. I think most of us are fully aware of it. Uh, however, it's just important to note that uh, uh, one of the things that uh, we would uh, need to put a lot of emphasis on going forward is around the procurement of, of ancillary services uh, to ensure that uh, there's quick response uh, from certain generators or customers uh, given the volatility of uh, demand or supply, as we've already indicated in the previous slide. And then the last one is essentially the network service provider, um, and this is really about the physical electricity network, um, and, and, and the key issue around this uh, is to ensure that there's fair and open access uh, to whoever uh, qualifies to connect, uh, and that we can facilitate uh, uh, access uh, for both generators on the one hand and obviously on the demand side to ensure that customers can also have access. If we then look at uh, what is in place uh, to date, um, we, we've got uh, clearly uh, a ring fence uh, transmission structure as I've indicated. We have started piloting the market operator concept and, and there are different rules and processes that, that uh, we are employing. Uh, as well as the day ahead market in a balancing market uh, to ensure that we, we are able to, to account for which uh, power stations uh, contributed and need to be compensated and, and, and which not. There are, however, a number of things that are important uh, that we believe still require to be done. Uh, and I think uh, one of the colleagues uh, touched on this earlier. Uh, the, the whole issue around the pricing design uh, because as we move into this future that we are heading towards uh, this fully uh, bundled electricity tariff uh, that we charge uh, becomes no longer appropriate. Uh, we believe it's going to be necessary to unbundle it so that it is clear what is energy, what is network charges, uh, because different players uh, have a contribution to make in ensuring that uh, the power can reach the best, uh, its intended uh, uh, customers. Uh, we do need to work more on the IT platforms, uh, particularly for the trading aspect, uh, because clearly it, 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 uh, it, it needs to be secure. Lastly, then, just at the bottom, uh, there's a few items that we believe require attention, and we are beginning to 
a knock on the, go on the door of government uh, around uh, policy uh, to ensure that uh, we are uh, uh, aiming to achieve the same thing. Uh, we believe there will be requirements for a market code, uh, rules that will apply, and as we indicated, to address the pricing structural issues. Uh, and as uh, Roger indicated, there are subsidies that are embedded in some of the tariffs, uh, as well as legacy costs, uh, and to say how we attend to those. Uh, and we believe this will require, at some stage, uh, amendments either to legislation or regulations or new regulations. Uh, and I think uh, that uh, NETA will be very busy uh, in the period ahead.